What's going on, you guys? Slim here at the 3v3 here in, in uh, Las Vegas. Here with my brother, Asian Persuasion. You already know. I already know, and brother. I am here with the <laughs> Michael Tamez. <laughs> Once again, back on the channel. One of my favorite people, you already know. Our boy, our boy, our boy. Our Tamez. Uh, our team, Team D Boys, with Zachary Rodriguez and Kai. We got uh, third place after Swiss. We were X1. The only team that was like outstanding us was David Flores' team, also from Houston. Uh, he has a bell two round buy. The buys help you out a little more with tiebreakers, but still in third place after Swiss. The best I've ever done in Swiss. It's awesome. My team has been awesome. Um, I played Pure Snake Eye. I learned the deck in three and a half, four days. So I'm doing my best. I was playing Labyrinth and Flu, trying to make it work. You know, if one can't, two can do it. You know, I, I love that, that. beanie. Flu yeah. sleeve still. People were thinking I'm playing Flu. The flu yeah. thing. Like, you know, this deck was not for me. I don't like it. But mm. I had to play something to make my teammate good. Yeah. If my team's going to help me, they can't help me with interactions if it, they're not playing the deck. Like, if they play Labyrinth, they can all play that stuff. So I'm playing this deck. Uh, it was a pure variant. It was the most toolbox team. Um, I just played on fundamentals today. The combos are. They're there, but you get hand up so much, I don't really didn't know what to do whenever I got stopped, because I didn't test as much as I wanted to with this deck. So fundamentals carried me. Hell yeah. So we're on the shout outs, shout out, you know, Johnny, Mike, Slim, and yes, everyone, sir. you know what it is. What's happening with them, shout out Team D-Boys. Uh, we did really well, love you guys, we're gonna team again, we're gonna win this next time. Uh, shout out Danton for letting me borrow some cards, because again, it's like blues, I didn't have princess and stuff, they gave me the <laughs> Give me the max radio while you're at it. <laughs> uh, shout out, literally everyone. Y'all know I love you guys. Y'all right. know what's happening. Y'all are all in my hearts. So let's get to the deck profile. Let's do it. I got three Ash, two Poplar, my boy Birch, always there for me. This is my man's. Robina, Eaglet. Yeah, there you go, Robina, Eaglet. Literally. And then my actual man's my double oak right here. Oh, God, so, yes. Um, I played two because I guess I do the combos wrong, so I always need a second oak later on in the game. But um, people were telling me they changed their plays around. How many uh, they seen Oak or not already? When you pull out the second one, they're like, "Oh lord!" Oh, and they're no. a little hurt because they don't know how to play around the second Oak. <laughs> at that point, you get too far ahead. Mm. Uh, for other little things, we play the Flambleezy over here. Two ofs. These things are great. Um, I've discarded these off a of jet so many times. Because <laughs> oh my, so my opening so hand is usually sick. this, <laughs> and it just comes back and it just like infinite bodies to kill people. Uh, those are the oh, so jet plank here. Had to like synchros and stuff. We have the Magician Souls, the one of the extender to send with the Witches and the Wanteds. Because you're playing the Pure variant, you have to have uh, the level 7 to start synchroing for a Savage. So you don't lose to like Nibiru on your combos. Um, Wanteds also just great to draw a card off of the... Putting any of these cards back that you need. Um, I play three targets for it. The Field Spell and two Original. Two Original probably wasn't correct. But I used two a lot more than I thought of. I banished one, searched the other one. It came in hot. So again, this deck is 44 cards. I didn't know what to cut. I just threw everything in there and now we're here. Um, <laughs> hey, this is my actual nice. favorite card in the deck. And there were so many times where I just had like a Sabersaurus and a Capitals attacking. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, yeah. And then I think I killed someone under Nib just by attacking them with this and which. Jesus, this is a lot this of damage. Big. Yeah, a lot of damage. Um, what I've learned from this event when playing this deck, 8,000 is 8,000. Find a way, kill them. Do not yeah. do flashy, don't go overboard. You're just gonna lose to more things. Yeah. Uh, for the hand trap lineup, it is hefty. Three Ash, three Nib, three Valor. The Platinumers, they're amazing. <laughs> three Imperms and one Droll. Uh, one Droll seems a little weird, but this is the only Droll on my mainer side. This card Gosh. is terrible this format, it does nothing. Mm. If you Droll a uh, Fire King player, uh, they end on the Snake Eye board. If you Droll a Snake Eye board, they make a Snake Eye board. <laughs> I'm literally only playing this because I'm uh, supplementing it with the three crosshairs to go with it. Mm. If you activate this card, you're going to win the game. Yes. If you have it going first, they don't interrupt you. You don't need to do it. Um, they summon Snake Eye Ash. You just hit the Ash and they yeah. did. <laughs> yeah. And then I play second Oak so I can call Oak too. Stuff yeah. like that. Also three bonfire for the this thing. <laughs> also non-engine, uh, two tactics. Incorrect, two. Correct, and three. Um, every time I resolved the card, it was absolutely insane. The best card in my deck. I don't know why I played two. I wasn't thinking it was late, and I just spent my deck last. Yeah. So a million non-engine. And then the last two cards are one for one and reborn. Um, I won most of my dice rolls, but one of the ones I lost was uh, round six or seven. I forgot which one it was. I didn't have no engine. I was like Oak Flambers. Uh, I reborn the Ash, got to that. He ended up negating that and make a heat up, took his uh, populace. His graveyard was my graveyard, and eventually I had to get to a point where I got to my own Snake Eye engine, but I won. Nice. So 44 cards in this bulk of a deck. Um, I would cut cards down. Um, I'm not taking out the double Oak. I think it's crazy. If anything, it would probably just be somewhere in the engine spots. Like, this isn't needed. 
Uh, you can side the crosshair technically. This isn't technically needed. I like this card though a lot. Mm -hmm. but the drawing two does matter. If anything, it'd be the oak. You can't do two flambers, so maybe one for one. I don't know. We'll figure that out later. I'm not playing fire again. I don't care. <laughs> Uh, extra deck, uh, my boy Link Karibo, I found it in my bulk, I was really happy because I didn't have one. Uh, Phoenix, uh, Phoenix out the back rows, draws cards, princess line, he does everything. Because you're, I consider Snake Eye a toolbox deck. So I'm going through my resources, trying to do what I can do. If I combo, I combo, if I don't, I don't. I'm going to resource base you and fundamentally try to beat you. Mm -hmm. So the other things you need are also more toolbox cards, uh, Hita, summon back literally anything. Dark, someone back Witch, someone back Link Kree, both under Princess, they can't do anything like that. Um, crashing this is pretty good because it's also a target for Magician Souls. Nice. I had to do that against, uh, what was it, Squiddy round, last round. Our I had to crash right into the, yeah. Hey, what's up? <laughs> he, still beat, he still beat me in time, but don't get me wrong, but I did, I did the play though. I won that game. Uh, crash, search for this, special, draw two. Um, it's very good. Nice. It's your only target in the deck for it. Mm. Um, SP and IP, the cards that are just crazy. Mm -hmm. This does everything. This is spell and trap card zone. Move it up with the flambers and stuff. Uh, it's crazy. This thing has so many options, so many lines. I wish I had more time to practice. I wish I wasn't stubborn to learn this deck first. <laughs> That's what everyone was telling me. They're like, oh, you're going to be a Snake Eye player. I'm like, no, I'm not. <laughs> you're still a bird player at heart. Yeah, no, chain lead one, chain lead two, so we die. Uh, Celine, uh, you have always have counters, always spells and trap cards. Someone's back soul, someone's back witch. Uh, just does literally everything for you. Because sometimes you can't get to a level 7 because you already have to use this. You have to bring this back to make your secret plays live. Again, I'm just finding A to Z. I don't care how I get there. Yeah. Uh, Princess, 1 was fine. Never needed 2. Um, people are saying you don't need this card. No one told me this, so I just played it still. I ended on this Flamberge all the time. It was not that great. The card's good though. Yeah. I like it. Um, the OTK. I did it one time. I kept trying to ask my teammates for help how to do it, but did, I didn't try to do it. There's 8,000 of them. Attack. <laughs> I did a, um, Appalooza. Um, after you IP, if you just want to hard make it turn one, depends. Apple's good. Can't go wrong with that card. And then all the synchros. Formula for the draws. Make Baron on your opponent's turn play. Savage for the uh, wanted witch combo, where you can make this uh, if you don't get the Vera too hard. And Baron, just Baron. Uh, the cool, only cool thing I did with Baron though was I've only secret what three times this tournament. Hand trap to no end. So if I played Flu, I would have lost a lot. I think I got triple hand trap almost every game. Jesus. Double hand trap. Uh, Baron, uh, no, I Zalantis reset the Baron. So you like pop again, so you're gonna gain again, do all the good stuff like that. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. Obviously, 15 cards in yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, the MVP of my side deck: Ghost Ooh. Ogre and Snow Rabbit. Um, this, like this card, it beats my favorite card, the Temple. Oh, it beats Temple, um, yeah. yeah. So they're like, they think they're safe, you're like normal summon, they're like a fag over, they're like, oh no. Oh. I have no plays now, I can't do anything. With this, uh, the Fire King board, a lot of the times they're sending the Sanctuary away, so if they're doing the Ambo well combo or the Ambo well summon back IP or whatever it is, or SP, you're just like Ogre, and they're like losing the game. A lot of the times you have to do this on random things, like just on the Ash, on a Witch, if they have no follow up. But this card does everything. Voiceless loses this card too. Uh, what's it called? Like the spell card, the trap card, anything, just activate it, and these cards are absolutely insane. Yeah. I would not change this. I wanted to main them until the night before. They didn't let me. <laughs> they didn't and let now you. I'm just upset. Yeah. So this card was crazy. Yeah. I decided this for time. Yeah. The only time I was going to go into time, it didn't matter because yeah. my team had lost the top 16. So yeah. it happens. It's probably good. It's probably that or the Warner, but my side deck's too many cards, so you got enough cards. I really like this card, Force Return. Mm. Um, it's just a shovel back to Graveyard. It doesn't banish it, so they can't oak stuff back. Uh, it just gets it out of the game, so like, uh, with the Grunix, you just get it back in the deck. They can search it again, but with the interruption, if you just kill them that turn, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, helps Puppet Lock, it helps a little bit in the mirror match. You don't side this for the Snake Eye Mirror, only for Fire King. There's other Rogue matchups. It's just a good card. I use it a couple times. Would I do it again? Absolutely, the card's nice. Yeah. Uh, call by just for going first. Uh, you usually didn't want to do it because it turns off a lot of your engine. Like if you have to call by something like your own like Ash or Oak, you feel terrible about it. Yeah. If you actually hand trap and you have the same hand trap in your hand, it kind of sucks. So you have to pick and choose your battles for this one. So it's yeah. a 50-50 card, but it, when it works, it's crazy. When it doesn't, you probably didn't draw it. Uh, Cosmic, Tao cards like Summon Limit, Tao Anti-Spell, Fragrance, The Mirror Match, Fire King, uh, Branded, I hit a brand in red with this during the end phase, pretty nice. Yeah. Uh, Cosmic, when I play it again, yeah, it's good. Did it do what it needed to do? Yeah. I started the, then Grape, Summon Limit, um, does everything you need to do, better than Anti-Spell. They can't play, you can't play. You're in a board state where you probably have some kind of a board, like you probably made an SP at least. Unless they have Simple, this is usually enough to carry through the game. And then the last card was Subversion. 
it was just for rogue stuff so we figured out testing the flu is an awful map not awful but it's hard to out double infant sometimes so you have a searchable out sometimes just to put some of these spell and traps down is fine same thing with mirror jade they can't summon another one so on and so forth it's just a good card yeah it picks, uh, again toolbox so whenever you're having your three options that you can search you're like what do i want to do yada 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 figure out what's happening yeah because again i play this as a toolbox deck not combo deck yeah. combos never went through didn't happen i figured out a way to kill you and that was it i think all my games maybe there weren't that many back and forth matches. I think the longest turn I played was like turn six. Yeah. See, so. fundamentals still win Yu-Gi-Oh, y'all. I mean, fundies, bro. That's <laughs> all you can do. I, I played the game pretty well, I think. I don't think I'm the best player in the world. I don't think I'm the absolute worst, though. Yeah. So if you're able to just pick and choose your battles, figure out what's happening, go on, you can get to the board stage. It just, I need to see the interactions, the layered interactions on their side. That's what my teammates are for. I'm like, yes, this, this, and this. I'm like, okay, here's how you can do this. I'm like, okay, so we should do this here? Yes. So okay. just figuring out the lines of interaction was my only problem. Yeah. But the actual skills of the game, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Yeah. Uh, su summon game. Summon yeah. game. Love it. Always a pleasure, brother. Always happy to have your channel. Congratulations on the top. As always, the decorators.